Get yeah, guys, and welcome back to Multi Sports. And today we are at an absolute massive game it's Sunday night footy between the West Coast Eagles and the Green Hill Dockers. It is a Western Derby, and I haven't been to one for four years, so I'm absolutely psyched out of my mind to be here. This game does have the potential to be one of the best derbies we've ever seen, so I'm really looking forward to it. Levi, mate, what are your thoughts? How are you going, and who do you think is going to win the Derby? Yeah, I'm really excited for this game, and I reckon Brio are going to win this game by going to. Yeah, the Dockers, they got a couple of big outs. Sarong, Fife, Mundy, Sean Darcy not playing there, four best players. West Coast, on the other hand, a couple of massive ins. And yeah, it's going to be a massive game. My tip, I did hit a Fremantle to win by 37 points. But on the basis of all the ins and outs we have seen, I'm going to go with the Fremantle Dockers to win by seven points in what should be a really good game. Uh, g'day, Montage Sports. We're here with Taj and Levi on the boundary at Optus Stadium for Fox Footy. Boys, we've got a YouTube channel going on. What's happening back there? Yeah, so um, we've got a YouTube channel. We've been going for a couple of months. They've been going well, so yeah, it's been pretty fun. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're going to watch all right, well, make sure you subscribe to Montage Sports, Fox Footy, Optus Stadium, Derby Week. Yeah. Right, yeah, subscribe. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Scully. Loving the podcast. Good job, boys. Just got Will Schofield on my blog and working for Fox Woody. Wasn't expecting it, but he just come along the boundary. It's a bit funny, but Will Schofield, what a legend, and um, loving his podcast. <laughs> Absolutely psyched for this game at the moment. That five minutes to bounce down. And well, this round has been the round for upsets. I think that West Coast can possibly get the job done. We really look forward to today's game, and it's going to be an absolute ripper. Jack Darling being double teamed, they're out to tall forwards. Fremantle, they look fit, they look fiery, and they're looking strong. So, Dockers at the moment looking really good, and um, hopefully, West Coast get back on top for a couple of dollars in the second quarter.
sitting in the middle of the Dockers cheer squad. Um, didn't think I'd be doing this ever in my life, but it is hard and I'm not enjoying this game at the moment. Down by 28 points with a couple of minutes to go in the second quarter. And the throw chant is already starting. Not good looks for West Coast at the moment. Fremantle docker player gets stream rolled by Nick Natanui on the ground, getting stretched off. The player has not been confirmed yet, but I'm interested to see who it is. <laughs> Alex Pierce down. Oh. Left, absolutely fuming here at the stadium. We are a couple of minutes left, left in the third quarter, and Doc is the lead is out to 41 points. The game was well dead and buried in about halfway through the second quarter, and it's just getting worse for the West Coast Eagles. Don't know who we are going to beat in season 2022. So yeah, comment down below who you think West Coast are going to beat in 2022.
Mookie Schultz has just won. They're going Denning Allen medal for best of field. Finally, after a bit of a dismal performance in his full time, and the Fremantle Dockers winning by 55 points. Final score for West Coast Eagles 47 to the Dockers 102. And it was a very disappointing loss, obviously, coming into this game with some expectations, and West Coast did not live up to them. On the other hand, Fremantle played really well. Their ball use was great, and they are a very entertaining team to watch when they're not playing the West Coast Eagles. So, yeah, thanks for watching the vlog. Comment down below, and yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and see you in the next one.